Hi guys, welcome back again to Creative B214. You can check me out on Instagram at Creative B214. Um, today we're going to be learning how to open up the MPC in Logic, and also we're going to try to put our sounds into Logic without it clipping, whether it's in our aux track or as an audio. Um, today's lesson right now we're gonna do the one where we could put our aux track but not to get it clipping so just to lower it down when we're transferring it and separating it as individual tracks also we're going to learn how to take our MIDI from the MPC and put it into our logic um, let's begin so I already have a template so I'm gonna try to explain everything to you guys little by little so here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna select my template that I already have and we're going to enter hold on one second everything is loading up um, so you know first thing I have is the MPC as you can see right here so I'm gonna just open it up oh by the way if you you can see how I add my MPC to it on my other um, YouTube page, not YouTube page, but on my other um, episode one, I guess you could say. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start by opening up a session that I had way back when. I already know that it was the the tempo of it was 123, right here. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. Where is it? Where is it? Okay. So, open up my track. It's loading up. Um, it's gonna find whatever. You can't see the other screen, but you can see this main screen. It's loading up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Got a lot of stuff. All right. So boom. Yeah, I said boom. Um, here we go. So you'll see this here. This is my MPC. So you know the first things that we have to do, right? We have to make sure that our mixer page is connected to our aux as you see here so we have to set first we have to set all individual tracks right so the first thing you're going to do is going to go you can't do it for midi but you can do it for your regular sounds like monster against snare and drums are so there we go logic but then when it's coming out through the MPC it's kind of low right so we have to go to the pad itself once again remember this this is where you can hit the pad all right so we know that we want this kick to be three four so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna make this kick three four stereo output three four now we're looking for Snare. Okay. Same thing for everything again. So there we go. Three, four. I'm gonna just do this real quick. I don't really care where it lands. Five, six. Seven, eight. Nine, ten. Fifteen, sixteen. All right. That should be it for now. Um. So we're gonna play this again. <laughs> It's very distorted. So the, what we're going to do right now is we're going to lower down this kick so that way we don't get that
kit though. level I would say I would say good level A lot of people like to record and mix loud and do it low so that way when you turn it up actually on your mixing board or it's a DJ or whenever you do your presets, it's a little bit better for the DJ to command. But right now we're not even worried about that. Now you have these little buttons right here for export. MIDI and export audio. So the first thing that I would do, I already know my count for this bar is eight. So I normally will take my cycle range, bring it down, and make it an eight bar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I know where my sound is. Let's make sure we have the correct zoom is what it is so what we're going to do is just click on this this button right here this function export MIDI we're going to click on it and when it's red as you click on it while it's red oh, I made a mistake hold on close you click on it it becomes red it'll process through the MIDI you can click and drag that whole MIDI format right to where it's supposed to be where it says green also import tempo information i normally don't like to import the import the um tempo so i would just say no because i don't want it to take on the same form so this is what i do this is how you get it in there you take that you drag it one more time you drag it you go to the mpc you click on the little button right here export MIDI. You have export MIDI, you take it and you can drag it into your logic and you put it in there. It'll ask you, hey, do you want to import the tempo, the same um, tempo that you had in your MPC onto the logic? I say no because I already set it up in logic for you to, for it to be 123 beats per minute. So I say no. It will come up for that bar after you make it come up for the bar you go back to the MPC just to make sure that it's the same sound that you're going to be looking for which is this sound right here 
angels. So this is what I have. So I'm going to X that out. And I'm going to go to this one now. X out the NPC. We're going to go to here. And we're going to look for the same function that I had. Our first one, bang. Took me forever to get that, huh? All right, so now that's how you basically drag your MPC MIDI and match it. So now this is playing by itself. Come back down, mute it. Let's play now. basically building your whole setup that you had in your NPC and just transferring them with that export media. And that's basically it. Um, Till next time, every Thursday, I think I'm going to be putting up something. Let me know if I explained it wrong. Let me know if I need to do a better job. Let me know if there's any other problems 